Massachusetts.biz and MassDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics. We are on lesson 29 and this is part 3. And we're going to put into practice what we learned in the last couple of parts and learn how to draw linear graphs without even doing a table of values. And something called the general equation of a straight line. So let's draw this graph y equals 3x plus 2 without a table of values. The first thing is, this part here, sometimes called the constant, tells me where it cuts through the y-axis. It cuts through the y-axis at plus 2. This tells me the graph has got a gradient of 3. So if I count 3, 1, 3, 1, I know that it's going to go through those points because that graph does pass through the y-axis at 2 and it does have a gradient of 3. Therefore that is the graph of y equals 3x plus 2. Remembering about the scale on both axes being the same for the gradient bit. Drawing this graph, it cuts through the y-axis at minus 3 and has a gradient of 1. There's no number there, so it must be a 1x. Gradient of 1 means it can go 1, 1. Now be careful if you count the other way, because you've got to remember it's that over that, not that over that. In this particular case, because it's 1, it doesn't matter. So I can quickly say it goes through all those points, because that is a graph that cuts through the y-axis at minus 3 and does have a gradient of 1. y equals 1x minus 3. Draw the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. It cuts through the y-axis at plus 1 and has a gradient of 2. Like I said, counting this way, it's 2, 1, 2, 1. If you count the other way, just make sure you appreciate it's 2, 1. Just something to be a little bit careful of. So the gradient of that graph is 2. It cuts through the y-axis at plus 1. It is the graph of the equation y equals 2x plus 1. One more. This graph is going to cut through the y-axis at minus 1 and has a gradient of half. In other words, 1 over 2. 1 over 2. 1 over 2. If you count the other way, just think about what you're doing. It's still got to be 1 over 2. Don't suddenly go 2, 1. Unless you're careful. So there you go. It's quite simple, isn't it? There you go. That is the graph of y equals a half x minus 1 because it cuts through the y-axis at minus 1 and has a gradient of half 1 over 2. And to finish with the general equation of a straight line and this is in fact the way it's written y equals mx plus c that's called the general equation of a straight line. This gives you the gradient and this is the constant and it says where it cuts y axis. And there you have it. Lesson 29, part 3, all done and dusted, as they say.